Daddy, you big liar. There's no mommy here at all. Who are we? Mommy is right inside? Daddy, you're so naughty. Mr. Goo, you're here? Let me introduce you. This is my eldest daughter, Chu Ming Yu. Take your pick. See which one you like. Our Ming Yu studies finance. Xing Chen studies management. Whichever you choose can be your capable wife. It's up to you, Rui Rui. Mr. Gu? Oh my, my haute couture dress is ruined. Where did this naughty kid come from? Wait and see how I deal with you. Chu Shang, bring the towel over. Little friend, are you okay? This sister is so gentle. She doesn't mind that I'm dirty at all. Daddy, I want her to be my mommy. It's settled then, her. Right, right, exactly. Chu Shang, since Mr. Gu has chosen you, go ahead and marry him. I won't marry him. Marry him, so Mr. Gu will help me more in business. I've told you I won't marry him. I can't help you. After all, you cheated on my mom and abandoned her. What you've done... Shut up. Do you even want to find your blind brother anymore? If you don't marry, then don't blame me for forgetting our father-daughter bond. Ah, think about your blind brother. How will he live in the future? Just obey me, and I promise to reunite you with your brother. I hope you'll keep your word, Mr. Chu. Come on, dear. Didn't expect this little lady to be so useful. Sold once four years ago, and now can be sold again. <laughs> four years ago, she did give birth to a child. What if Mr. Gu finds out about this? What then? Hmm. If she really gets returned by Mr. Gu, I'll make sure she never sees her blind brother again in her life. Why would I dream about Mr. Gu? This is actually a love letter. That's too much. She actually rejected Senior Chin Fong's confession. Miss Chu, if I remember correctly, you asked to meet me today. Your dad set a clear price to sell you. If you're unwilling, you can always refuse. Several million is no small sum. Mr. Gu, I'm not... You'll move into the Gu household and be a good mother to Rui Rui. Otherwise, don't expect to get a dime from the Gu family, including the investment in the Chu family. Rui Rui? Rui Rui is that cute kid from the other day, right? If Rui Rui is satisfied, I can even offer you a grand wedding. All I need to do is take good care of Rui Rui. I don't have to become Mr. Gu's real wife. It's just three months, right? No problem. Mr. Gu? So as long as I fulfill the terms of the agreement, you'll invest in my dad's business as promised? Hmm. Yes, as long as Rui Rui approves. Getting along with Rui Rui shouldn't be too hard, right? I hope Chu Jihua can let me know about my brother's situation. Chu Shang. Uncle Chu, how are you? I'm a senior student to your daughter. My name is Chin Feng. Uncle Chu, you look so well maintained. You look both handsome and young. At such a young age, can't see well, huh? How about this? I'll pay for a new pair of glasses for you. Uncle Chu, 
My glasses are anti-blue light and anti-radiation. They're quite good. So, he is your little boyfriend? Uncle Chu, it's like this. I'm still pursuing your daughter, Xiang. She hasn't accepted me yet. Humph. <laughs> Dreaming of becoming Mrs. Gu, while also keeping a backup option. Xiang, did you read the letter I gave you? Sorry, I don't like you. What don't you like about me? I can change. I'm about to get married. That is, to the same Uncle Chu you mentioned. At least you're smart. Marrying into the Gu family, I can give you everything but love. Oh. Make sure to check the dates on the agreement. If the time's up and you're not here, don't dream of getting anything. I'm going to enter the Gu family today. Seeing mommy's here. A gentleman would take the initiative to carry a lady's luggage, you know. She's your mommy, not my woman. Stinky daddy, you're completely lacking in chivalry. You. Rui Rui, slow down. Mommy, you finally came. Rui Rui? Carrying luggage is a man's job, mommy. Rui Rui is really a little gentleman. That's all you brought? Didn't Mr. Goo say, apart from love, he could give me everything? Forget it. I'm not going to argue with you. Who are you? Why are you in my house? Your house? Is there a problem? Mr. Goo and Rui Rui are both under my care. So she's the nanny for the Goo family? The nanny for Mr. Goo's family. And such a bombshell too. Rui Rui? You can't just call someone mommy like that, Rui Rui? Rui Rui? Daddy. Let me introduce, from now on she will be Rui Rui's mother and the lady of this house. Go cook something. Hmm. Just watch, Mr. Goo will choose me. Alright, Mr. Goo, I'll go draw a bath for you. The water temperature is just right. Oh my goodness. I didn't see anything. You guys carry on. Come here, you out. I didn't mean to. I really didn't see anything. Come here. I don't want to say it twice. Your maid's got a pretty good figure. Compared to yours? It's indeed a lot better. You? Are you trying to seduce me? You jerk. I'll make sure you know that the only woman of this house can be me. Are you trying to seduce me? Mr. Goo just now was actually quite charming. Chu Xiang, what are you thinking? Sleep. Congratulations, it's a boy. From now on, you'll be the young master of the Goo family, and she will have no more ties to you. Give me back my child. How could I have such a dream? How come you're here? Mommy, did you have a nightmare? Rui Rui, why are you in my bed? Rui Rui wants a hug from Mommy. Kay. 
Rui. Hmm? Have you never seen your mommy? No. But you are my mommy. Mr. Goo with his icy face. How could he have? A sweet little boy like Rui Rui. Good boy. Rui Rui can't eat shrimp shells. He's allergic. This is Rui Rui's breakfast. Are you trying to starve Rui Rui? You've been with the Goo family for so many years. Don't you know Rui Rui is allergic to shrimp shells? I'll make breakfast from now on. Looks like I underestimated you. Where should I put this? There's no way around this. Rui Rui. Are you playing by yourself? Okay. Mommy's going upstairs now. Rui Rui, your mommy told you to sit here. Be good and wait for her to come back, okay? Hmm. Do they think I'm a three-year-old? Am I that easy to fool? I want to see what you're up to. Mommy, come back quickly. Rui Rui is scared. Mommy, please come back quickly. Rui Rui is scared. Mr. Goo, I just got back and saw Miss Chu. Put Rui Rui in such a dangerous place. Chu Xiang, you better pray Rui Rui is okay. Mommy, Mommy. Mr. Goo will kick you out when he comes back. Mommy, Auntie Shaolin took a picture of me for Daddy. She's liked my Daddy for a long time. Chusan, you've got some nerve. Bad daddy, you can't bully mommy. Mr. Goo, are you out of your mind? Your own doing, see for yourself. Mommy, please come back. Rui Rui is scared. So it's this kind of low trick? That's your explanation? I won't explain now. I have a question for Mr. Goo. You said Rui Rui is picky with food, and often not in good health. Have you ever wondered why? It's because the nanny you hired is deceiving you. Secretly feeding Rui Rui shrimp skins that cause allergies. Is that true, Rui Rui? Did you eat shrimp skins? Mr. Goo, it's Rui Rui. Rui Rui wants you to stay home with him. That's why I gave him shrimp skins to make him allergic. I doubt that. Clearly, you wanted Rui Rui to get sick. So Mr. Goo would come back. And then you could try to seduce Mr. Goo. Get out! I don't want to see you again. Wait. Before she leaves, I want to explain something. I didn't carry Rui up to that high platform. Besides, Rui is so small, he couldn't have climbed up there himself? Miss Chu, what do you mean by that? If you didn't do it, are you saying I did? It was Auntie Shaoling who carried me up there. There are surveillance cameras here? How about we check and see who really did it? How come I don't remember having cameras at home? There aren't any. I was bluffing her. Who asked her to confuse fire alarms and surveillance cameras? Hey, take that nanny to the police station. Mommy, it doesn't hurt! Rui Rui, be good. It doesn't hurt. Anyone who dares to hurt my son? I'll make sure they pay the price. Mr. Goo, is this a case of killing the chicken to scare the monkey? Since that's the case, you better install the surveillance cameras quickly. Otherwise, I'll be blamed again without reason. Hey, why are you so useless? You haven't even gotten Goo Shoding to pay up. Do you not want to pay your tuition anymore? I hate it when women play mind games in front of me. Mr. Goo, I didn't say anything though. Mommy, spend freely. If it's not enough, I still have more? You little rascal. I'm your real dad. My money. Goo Shouting's money. Isn't that easy to take? Consider it your compensation for spending time with Rui Rui. Every move. This is my piggy bank. To pay for your tuition. I didn't expect Rui Rui to be a little rich kid. I'll attend Rui Rui's parent-teacher conference at 3 in the afternoon. I might be a bit late because of some things I have to handle. So it's time for the parent-teacher meeting for kids.
but a wild child coming from who knows where. Get out of the way. But I want to play more. I don't want to play with a wild child. Nonsense. My mommy is very gentle and very beautiful. Look at this wild child. I'll beat you so hard. Beat you to death. If you dare call your parents over, I bet it's because your dad is too poor. Your mom doesn't want you to, right? Huh? Apologize to Rui Rui. You're a mother too. How can you say such things? Where did this little woman come from yelling at me like this? Huh? Could it be this child was born because someone got you pregnant before you were of age? Auntie, please watch your words. Be careful, or what goes around comes around to your own child. You can't bully my mommy! So you think you can defy the heavens now, do you? Mr. Gu, Ms. Chu is the daughter of Chu Zhuhua and his ex-wife. Working and studying hard, abused by the Chu family. It seems her days with the Chu family were not good. What? Go to the kindergarten. Buy it within half an hour. What's going on here? As parents, please be mindful of your influence. Oh, you're here too. Principal, it's this little woman. She hit me and my son like this. If you don't expel her son, I'll have my husband withdraw his investment. Did Zhuang Zhuang hit you? Don't worry. A teacher is here to get justice for you. It was clearly him who hit Rui Rui. How come when your rich kids hit someone, there's someone to care, but when Rui Rui gets hit, nobody cares? Her husband is a shareholder of the kindergarten, and your husband is what? A migrant worker or a delivery guy? Rui Rui, you should apologize to Zhuang Zhuang. You guys can still be good friends after this. Sound good? Hmm. It was him who hit Rui Rui. Why should we apologize to him? If you don't expel her son today, you can forget about being the dean. That's right, I'm bullying you because I can. My husband is a shareholder here. So I can do whatever I want. Let's see your husband handle this. Ah. Here comes your husband. But it's just a family of three. Ready to be bullied by us? Watch your mouth. Wait until Rui Rui's dad gets here. You'll be the ones regretting it. Psh. Hmm. Just wait until my dad gets here. You'll all have to apologize. Mrs. Rui Rui, stop pretending. I'm tired of arguing with you. Why don't you take a good look at yourself in the mirror? Just pathetic. Kneel and apologize to me now. Or I'll make sure your family of three suffers. You won't be able to escape the consequences. And how do you plan to make them suffer? Unable to escape the consequences? Daddy, they bullied me and mommy. They bullied you? They said Rui is a wild child. I couldn't stand it, so I fought them. Don't be scared. I'm here now. Oh, look who's come to help, dressed all fancy. Must be an insurance salesman or something. Hmm, you'd be scared if I told you. My daddy is... Is, is nothing, you wild child. Who do you think you are, acting all high and mighty? I'm not someone you can afford to offend easily. Hmm? Hmm. I really want to see how you can't be offended. My husband's Haifu Pharmaceuticals is cooperating with the Goo Corporation. Ah, uh, Goo Corporation. You all know it, right? The wealthiest family in Haicheng can turn clouds, can call the rain, even though you bear the Goo surname now. You're not even worthy to carry their shoes. But hey, having that surname is already the blessings of your ancestors. Ha ha ha! Scared now, huh? Offending Zhuang Zhuang's mom. No kindergarten in all of Haicheng. We'll take your wild child now. I've just signed the acquisition contract. This kindergarten now belongs to the Goo Corporation. Ha ha ha, A, I must have heard wrong. Ah, uh, this insurance salesman, he claims to be Mr. Goo himself. This is killing me. Picking anyone to impersonate and daring to pose as Mr. Ghost. Quiet, this is Mr. Goo. Be polite when you speak to him. Is he really Mr. Goo? Of course, I just signed the acquisition contract with his assistant. Have you received the money then? Not yet. Then how are you so sure he's Mr. Goo? What if someone's pretending to be him? Just some random Joe? Isn't your husband out in the car? Doesn't he work with the Goo Corporation? Call him in then. Hurry up and expose these frauds right now. Exactly. Just you wait. I'll expose you as a fraud right now. Hey, honey. Come here right now. Time to bust a fraud? Before 10 o'clock tonight, I want to make Haifu Pharmaceutical go bankrupt. 
Understood, Mr. Goo. Just you wait. Blowing smoke. Honey, this... Mr. Goo. It's an honor to meet you here. This must be young Master Goo, right? He's so handsome. Looks just like you. What's going on? Did your husband mistake someone else for me? Is he really the President Goo of the Goo Corporation? Is he really President Goo? Of course he's President Goo. He's the wealthiest man in High City. Hey, honey. Didn't you say someone here was impersonating President Goo? Who is it? Hey. Hey? She's talking about me. President Goo? This must be a misunderstanding. Your wife just made a bold statement asking my family of three to kneel and apologize to her. No, husband. They started bullying Zhuang Zhuang first. That's nonsense. You were the one who hit Rui Rui first. If you don't believe me, the kindergarten has security footage. You wicked woman. How dare you talk back to Mrs. Gu like that? Now kneel and apologize to her. Zhang Da? Make Haifu Pharmaceuticals disappear from High City. Have these brats expelled from school. Me! Understood, President Gu. Mommy, come quickly! Let's all sleep together tonight! You... how can you... It's Rurui's request. You should try to accommodate it as much as possible. There's no need to actually fulfill marital duties. Just pretend with me. Shy, shy. Daddy, can Doggy also sleep with us? Hmm. Be careful, Ruri. Mommy, Mommy sleeps in the middle. Rui Rui's asleep now. If you don't want to sleep here, you can go to another room. Whoa, pretty bold, aren't we? Don't touch me. Dressed like that? Don't assume I'm a gentleman. You're a pervert. Stop looking. So, you really want to sleep here, huh? Today at the kindergarten, thank you for looking out for Rui Rui. Don't get me wrong, I don't often get into fights. It was purely an accident. I honestly never imagined you'd get into a fight for Rui Rui. Mr. Goo? Where exactly is Rui Rui's biological mother? Where is the child's mother? It's good she disappeared. The Goo family needs an heir. Grandpa, that's quite the tactic. But I don't want him to grow up without a mother like I did. Chu Sheng, this is not for you to ask. I just feel bad for Rui Rui. You'd do better feeling sorry for yourself. Losing your mother so young, with a father who doesn't care and a mother who didn't love. Chu Sheng, my patience with you has its limits. I don't want to hear it again. The term Rui Rui's mother. Dad, I'm begging you, please lend me some money. Let me give Mom and Uncle Ling a proper burial. Xiao Chu Sheng selling you. Wouldn't even cover the cost of a grave. I promise, when I grow up, I'll work hard to earn money and pay you back. Your mother's worthless life worthy of a burial plot? Burn these papers for her instead. Let her spend it with that bastard in the underworld. 
Sister Schwan is back. How did you get back here? Uncle, have you seen my brother? Your real dad took him, didn't you know? If only I could choose what child wouldn't want to be with their mom. And yet, not only did I lose my mom, I've also lost my only brother. investment from Mr. Gu. Why hasn't it been transferred yet? You useless piece of trash, get back here immediately. Mommy, why aren't we going inside? Mommy needs to go home first to drop Rui Rui off at Daddy's. Is that okay? I want to go home with Mommy. Useless thing? Why does the bad person want to hit my mommy? Oh, you little rascal. If you dare to lay a finger on him, Goo Shouting won't let you off. Now that you're close to Goo Shouting, you dare to threaten me. Don't forget, your blind brother is still in my hands. That's a good reminder now. Goo Shouting really likes me. Just let me see my brother once, and I'll have him transfer the money immediately. You dare to negotiate terms with me? Rui, Rui don't worry. Mommy is okay. Your talent for seducing men is just like your deceased mother's. Identical. Your mother was a flirt, gave birth to a little blind child, and you turned out the same. I won't allow you to talk about my mom like that. It was clearly you who seduced Chu Jihua first. That's why my mom ended up divorcing and marrying Lin's dad. Slut you? Who dares to touch her? Daddy, he bullied me and mommy! No, no, no. Mr. Goo, I haven't even touched a hair on young Master Goo's head. Not at all. But Mommy's corner of the mouth is bleeding. How did your daddy get here? I used my little genius watch to call daddy for help. Such a sorry state. Are you still my wife? Goo Shouting's wife? My wife? You mean to tell me you just hit her? Chu Kong is my daughter, so disciplining her is my natural right. Even when beating a dog, you have to look at its owner. If she's damaged, I might just return her. Mr. Gu, calling her a dog, are you insulting me too? So what if I am? What? You don't want the 50 million anymore? <laughs> Mr. Gu is full of youthful vigor. Please forgive me for not providing you a meal then. Mommy, it doesn't hurt when you do this. Thank you, Dr. Rui Rui. Rui Rui. Daddy has something to say to Mommy. You go to your room first. Okay, take good care of Mommy, okay? Yep. Covering it up so silly, getting hit and not knowing to dodge. Rui Rui's such a young age and knows to run. And you, you go back. Not afraid of being flayed alive? Are you worried about me? Don't flatter yourself. I don't want Rui Rui to get hurt because of you. My brother is still in his hands. I can't just not go back. Brother? How come I've never heard about this? There's another son in the Chu family? For someone who's usually so sharp-tongued, how come you've turned mute now? Never mind then? My wife... Don't keep acting like a victim, it's embarrassing for me. Teacher? I'm here to pay back the tuition fees I owed before. Your tuition has already been paid. It was transferred by the Goo Corporation. Oh, thank you, teacher. Puzzled. How did Chu Xiang, the poor student, get involved with the Goo Corporation? Miss Chu, Mr. Goo asked me to take you home. Thank you.
Thanks for the tuition. I'll pay it back. Daddy, why didn't you go pick up mommy? You like her that much, huh? Yep, I super like her. My mommy is so sweet and soft. You dummies definitely haven't held a woman before. Who are you? Damn it. How come she feels so familiar to me? What are you guys doing? She does have a nice figure. No wonder she could snag a rich man. What do you mean? Daring to do it but not to own up. Such a bad woman. Ah! You dare to hit someone? Wait till you get expelled tomorrow. Don't slander me. The photos have been taken. You've got no choice but to admit it? I'm just riding in my family's car. Is there a problem with that? A bastard child, daring to boast about riding in her family's luxury car. What a joke. No wonder she rejected senior Chin Feng. Turns out she's hooked up with a sugar daddy. We're classmates and I'm warning you, slander is illegal. Classmates? I certainly don't have classmates who play mistress to old men. That old man is even older than your dad, isn't he? Shut up, both of you. You took a year off school to have an old man's baby, didn't you? Nine months of pregnancy, that adds up, doesn't it? I took a leave because I was in a car accident, and I needed to recuperate at home. Don't tell me. You're going to say you lost your memory in the accident. How did you know? I did indeed lose some of my memory after the accident. Oh, I'd love to hear this. That scar on your stomach, surely that's not from an appendectomy, right? But it is from an appendectomy. Listen to this. Who would believe such lies? These photos will be all over the school headlines tomorrow. Let's see if you can. Continue your studies then. I hope you can. Please explain this. Issue with being supported financially, it's seriously damaging. The reputation of our school. If it's not properly handled, you could be expelled. Mr. Zhou, this is all a fabrication by Lin Wanwan and Zhou Ting against me. The car I was in is actually my family's. If I'm going to be expelled, then those two who falsely accused me should be expelled too. Oh. Counselor, you should call and have her parents pick her up. Cut it out? Have your parents come over. Let's see how we can resolve this. What are you waiting for? Go on, make the call. I don't have parents. This matter has a very bad influence if you don't bring your parents here. Prepare yourself for expulsion. What's wrong? Could you please come to the school? I don't want to be expelled. Dismissed. I want to know what happened to Chu Xiang within 10 minutes. Okay. Why did Mr. Gu suddenly come to our school without any apparent reason? His assistant didn't give the details. It seems like it's about sponsorship. Mr. Gu, what can we do for you at our school? A student's parents were called. As a guardian, I had to come. Mr. Gu is just in his 30s, and his child is already in college? Really? What's the child's name? Why don't we know about this? My child never lies. It must be her fault. My daughter couldn't possibly be the other woman in someone else's relationship. Chu Shang. It says in your records that you're an orphan. 
An orphan, no father, no mother. No wonder she's so love-deprived. Shut up. Don't talk like that. Not getting smacked today means big trouble later. Chu Xiang, who did you call as your guardian? My husband. Who? Your husband? So that old man is your husband, huh? You managed to climb your way up as the other woman? As the saying goes, if the top beam is not straight, the bottom one will go askew too. Maybe her mom was the other woman too? What are you trying to do? Are you looking to start a fight? You've really lost it now. Mr. Gu, I'm Chu Xiang's husband. There's been an issue at school. It requires a parent's involvement. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Mr. Gu, this is all a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? Mom, what are you talking about? What misunderstanding? She must be expelled today. Would you shut it? Mrs. Gu is not someone you can afford to offend. It's a misunderstanding, Mr. Gu. Yes, yes, yes. Let's leave it at that, shall we? You say let's leave it at that. So, we'll leave it at that. Today, our school encountered a serious case of school bullying. Senior Class A's Lin Wan Wan and Zhou Ting maliciously caused trouble by spreading rumors and slandering Chu Xiang. They have been formally reprimanded and given a major demerit. Both parties must publicly apologize. We hope every student will learn from this and strive for excellence. How can you be so weak? You always let people bully you. About today. Thank you, Mr. Gu, for backing me up. Not calling me hubby now? Why are you backing down? You were so brave today. Even in front of all those parents. We dared to take action. Because they said my mom was the mistress. My mom is Chu Jihua, the legitimate wife, married openly. It was Chi Fenglin who was the mistress. My mom left the Chu family with me because of Chu Jiwa's affair. Why are you looking at me like that? Don't you believe me? No. Of course I believe you. I just thought... You wouldn't talk to me about your family matters. Mr. Gu? You asked about my brother before. Do you still want to hear it? I'd like to know more. My brother's name is Ling Xuan. He's four years younger than me. He is the son of my mom and my stepfather. After they got divorced, unfortunately, he was born with an eye condition. The doctor said, we'd have to wait until he turns 18 to get a cornea transplant. Later, my mom and stepfather died in a car accident. I went to Chu Zhihua for help with the funeral arrangements. But what I didn't expect was that he would take my brother away and hide him. Don't worry, I'll help you find your brother. This is infuriating. What's the matter, honey? Who made you so angry? Who else could it be? Goo shouting. That ungrateful cur. Sultan. That unreliable jerk. The promised investment still isn't here. Several projects lost to rivals. Ah, uh, how much money are we losing? Dad, don't get so angry. It's bad for your health. I must say, Shirley is useless. If I had married Mr. Gale, I'd have secured the investments. How dare you mention it? The opportunity was there, and you couldn't handle a kid. You only know how to waste money. Even dogs are more useful. Hmm. The more I talk, the angrier I get. I Honey, don't be mad. If outside dogs are useful, let's use the dog to help us. I have an idea. Mr. Gale, thanks for coming with me. If I bring your brother next time... You'll be happier. You found my brother? I promised to help, and I did. I found the person you wanted me to approach. Mr. Gu, Chu Jihua donates money to the orphanage every month to sponsor a child. We suspect that this child is Madam's brother. Find a way to get his hair. And do a DNA test. Mr. Gu, the Madam and Rui Rui have a performance this afternoon. I've brought you these flowers. Twinkle, twinkle little star. How I wonder what you 
more. It's all over. Mr. Koo has truly fallen in love, leaving work aside just to be with his wife and child. You look really beautiful today. I really like these flowers. Rui Rui, these flowers are for you, today's most handsome little star. Rui Rui, Daddy will take you and Mommy out for something delicious tonight, okay? What are we going to eat? You'll find out when we get there. Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. Can you find my cane? Is this really a coincidence? Take him back and do a DNA test quickly. Is it him? You look like someone we know. Can you tell us about your family? Since I was four, I've been in the orphanage. A Mr. Colton has been sponsoring me. Do you remember anything before you were four? The director said I was very sick when I arrived. After waking up, I remembered nothing. Oh, I have a jade pendant. It has a word, Xavier. I only remember my name is Xavier Layton. My brother. Are you really my sister? Mr. Gale, the DNA test is at the lab. We'll know tomorrow. Xavier, even without the result. When I saw the pendant, I knew you were my brother. These years have been hard. Mr. Gale, can my brother stay here for a few days? Rui Rui, this is your uncle. Uncle, why are you wearing sunglasses indoors? Why are you wearing sunglasses? Rui Rui, that's rude. Because I... have been blind since I was young. You guys have such a good relationship. When I was in the orphanage as a child, all the kids were trying to show their best, hoping to get adopted. But I, since I couldn't see, no one adopted me. It's okay. Tran? I'm here for you now. I will definitely help you regain your sight, Rui Rui. How sweet of you. Uncle, have some melon. Is such a good boy. Trencher, I'm taking Rui Rui to school. Will you be okay here by yourself? Don't worry, sis. I know where the bathroom is. I know. Take a left out of the door, and it's straight to the stairwell. There are 22 steps downstairs. Then, 7 steps to the left is the kitchen. That's my Zhuanchir. You remembered all this in just a few days. Your sense of direction is as good as when you were little. How much hardship did you endure to become this proficient? I'm not a child anymore. Relax, sis. You too. Relax. I'll definitely cure your eyes. I've successfully moved into the Gu family. Chu Song hasn't suspected a thing, but Gu shouting is very cautious. I'm worried. Don't worry, I've already tampered with the sample. Once he gets it, you'll officially be Chu Xiang's younger brother. I've raised you for so many years, you better not disappoint me. Don't worry, Godfather. I will definitely repay your kindness. Which agency handled this? There won't be any oversights, right? Don't worry, Boss Goo. I've personally overseen every step. The results are in. Ling's room is your brother. That's fantastic. Come home early tonight. I want to celebrate. Mom, I've finally found my brother. 
May you rest in peace below. That's great, sis. I was worried the report would say, we weren't siblings. I'll never leave you again. All right. Come eat. Eat more. Have some ribs. Sis, I can eat by myself. I can do it. Something's not right. There's something off about this Ling Xuan. Ling Xuan. Come have a drink. Oh, slipped my hand. It's okay, ha ha ha. Wishing you peace every year. Ling Xuan, time to eat. Rui, Rui, you can't look anymore. Rui, Rui. It's getting late. Take Uncle to the room to rest. Be careful. Thanks, brother-in-law. Rui, Rui has gone to bed. Chu Xiang, I think Ling Zuan is acting a bit off. I know you're not used to having him around, but I just got him back. I want to spend more time with him. It's not that I mind. Never mind. Maybe I'm just overthinking it. Mr. Gi, you bringing him back to me makes me really happy. Thank you. Good night, Mr. Gu. After all the trouble to find your brother and all I get is a thank you? Chu Xiang, didn't expect you could actually get Gu Xiaoting to fall for you in bed. Mommy, hug! Darn. There's a password, of course. Uncle, can you play with me? Rui Rui, where are your mom and dad? Mom and dad are still in bed. Rui Rui, how about Uncle plays a guessing game with you? Okay. Do you know who lives in the biggest room in the house? It's a room for me and Daddy and Mommy. Then do you know which room does Dad like the most? Dad likes to be in the study the most. Every time Dad enters the study, he presses some numbers. Do you remember those numbers? It's Rui Rui's birthday. Mommy, you're such a lazy bones. Little monster. Daddy, Uncle just... Played a riddle game with me. So what did you guys guess? Uncle is so smart. He guessed the study's password. All right, Rui Rui, let's go change our shoes. Shang, you take him to kindergarten first. I've got some things to handle. Mr. Gu, you mean he's pretending to be blind? What do you think? If he is pretending to be blind, who do you think sent him? The Chu family. I'm sorry, Mr. Gu. I shouldn't have doubted Miss Chu. You're right. But Xiang does not represent the Chu family. Keep a close eye on Chu Zhihua lately. All right. If they want to play dirty, then let's play along. Mr. Gi... What secret are you hiding exactly? Isn't this the epitome of inconsistency? None other than President Gu who shirks his responsibilities? Chu Zhuwa, watch what you say. President Gu slept with my daughter, who's still in college, and the promised investment has yet to materialize. Isn't that the truth? The Gu family has always followed the rules in their dealings. It's not your place to judge. Forget it. They're just here for show. The bidding conference is about to begin. Please take your seats in an orderly manner. Just for show.
Congratulations to Jihua Corporation for winning the bid with 23.01 million congratulations, President Gu. How could this happen? The bids have always been won by our Gu family in the past. If he wants it that badly, let him have it. Oh. President Gu's earlier remark about being here for show was meant for himself, wasn't it? Congratulations. It seems the Gu dynasty is about to change. Wow, mommy's so talented. Thanks to my wonderful daughter. Today we finally snatched the bidding project from the Gu family. Took it right out of their hands. I have no idea what you're talking about. Nothing important. I'll hang up now. Don't hang up. I've been in a good mood lately. I'll let you come home for a family dinner tomorrow. No need. I'm an outsider. Wouldn't want to disturb your family reunion. You and great. You think I want you to come home for dinner for no reason? Don't forget, your brother's life is in my hands. Then you should go check. See if Link Swan is still there. Hmm. Think you're so clever. Looks like the fish has bitten the bait. With Ling Xuan in the Gu family, getting rid of the Gu family is just a matter of time. Mr. Gu? What bidding is he talking about? You seem very interested. Has Chu Zhihua mentioned this to you before? No? You think I didn't hear what he said just now? Have you been in my study? What do you mean by that? Are you suspecting me? I'm asking if you've been in my study. Daddy, don't bully mommy. Answer my question. I clean it every day. I. You admit it. Who else but you could leak the news about Chu Jihua's bid? You're not unaware of my situation in the Chu family. Mom and Dad, please don't fight. Fine. Since you think so, I'll leave the Gu family right now. Daddy, don't make mommy leave. I'll have someone thoroughly investigate this. Until the truth is out, you'll stay in the Gu family. Take good care of Rui Rui. Mr. Gu, the surveillance video was tampered with. The technicians have already repaired it. I knew something was off. Seems like this lure is going to work. In that case, find another forensic lab abroad to verify Ling Xuan and Chu Xiang's DNA samples. I suspect the last one was tampered with. Understood, Mr. Gu. Do you like Ferris wheels? Then Daddy will build you an amusement park, right in the northern part of the city. Sound good? Yes. Then, will you take Mommy and go with Rurui to play there? Sure. Wait and see. At the charity banquet, the day after tomorrow. I'm puzzled by the North Project. That land is old and remote? Why does Sultan want to buy it at a high price? I know why. At night, Sultan told his son he'd build a large amusement park. Impossible. There must be another reason. Listen, find a chance to sound him out. Okay, project details and photos have been sent to your email. Mr. Gale, I want that land for a long time. Can you not compete with me? Oh, Mr. Rod, I can't give it up. I'm buying it to build an amusement park for my son. Mr. Gale, we're both old foxes. Why the pretense? Such a big gold mine. Can you handle it alone? How do you know? I know there's a gold mine beneath. I also know you've put all your funds into foreign projects. So that's why Sultan wants that old land. There's a gold mine underneath. Mr. Rod, you care so much even knowing my finances. Of course, know your enemy, win your battles. I am not greed. If you take me in and make a fortune together, I'll support you fully to get that land. Tell me, how do we split it? I want 30% profit. No one will compete with you. Whatever funds you need, I'll provide. Listen, Mr. Rod. I don't like sharing. I prefer to go solo. Sultan, you better think this through. The gold mine news leaked long ago. Many people are eyeing it. Yes, most of my funds are tied in foreign projects, but I can find enough money. 
I will get this land. You. Mr. Rod, who are you? Get lost. Don't bother me. Oh. Mr. Rod, I'm Colton Group's CEO. About that land I'd like to discuss. You heard my talk with Mr. Gale, right? I want 50%. Or no deal. Didn't you say 30%? Who do you think you are? Hello, who's this? Spit it out quickly. Mr. Rod, I accept your terms. Zaria took the bait. How could this be? It's him. Xavier approached you on purpose. He's Zariah's pawn. If Xavier isn't my brother, where is my brother? Surely. I'll find him for you. By the way, come to an auction with me. I want to see what Zariah is up to. Wow, Mr. Gu. You haven't lost your charm, even after all these days. What are you doing here? Heard you're eyeing that plot of land in the north of the city? So I came specially to give you a run for it. And what exactly do you have to compete with me? Right, right. Alone, I definitely can't beat you. But what if I team up with Mr. Wrong? Mr. Goo likes to hog everything for himself. I had no choice but to team up with someone else. Hey. I heard from Mr. Chu, you're his daughter. That might be true, but I'd rather not acknowledge it. Not everyone is fit to be a dad. Feisty, I like that. Here's an idea. Why not dump Goo shouting and be my girlfriend? I mean, I'm no worse off than he is. Plus, I keep myself clean. No strings attached. Sorry, but I prefer pain-free motherhood. No son, no interest. I'm impressed. You're tough. Listen, I don't care how you do it, but you have to come up with another three billion. I've had my eye on this gold mine for so long, I'm definitely not giving it up easily. Rong Jin and Chu Jihua colluding, thinking they can jointly snatch this juicy piece from me? They're dreaming. That's that. Hmm, Gu Shouting, you're the one dreaming? Even if it costs all I have, I'll snatch that gold mine in the north of the city from you? He saw us teaming up and called his man to raise another three billion. Another three billion. So that, plus what he already had. Are you sure he's willing to invest so much? I heard it with my own ears. No, I can't go along with this any longer. Let's not compete with him anymore. But Mr. Wrong, we're on the home stretch now. You can't back down. Just for that little benefit you offered me? Hey, I'll up the ante. I'll mortgage the company and all the properties to raise another billion. How about that? Welcome everyone to today's auction. We'll be auctioning off the land in the northern part of the city. It spans 23,000 square meters, nestled against the hills and near water. It's a gem. The starting bid for this lot is 273 million. Each bid increment must be no less than 10 million. Let the bidding begin. 350 million. The gentleman at table one bids 10 billion. Any advance? 11 1 billion. Any more bids? Going once at 11.5 billion. Sold. Congratulations to the gentleman at table one. I got it. Ha 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 ha. I won it. Mr. Goo, you've been most generous. Stick to the original plan. Got it, Boss Goo. Honey, have the PR department release the news. Say that there's a huge gold mine under the land in the north of the city. That there's a huge gold mine. Honey, did you get the gold mine? Then our company is going to prosper, isn't it? 
We're going to be rich. Of course. From now on, those coming to us for partnerships will practically trample down our doorstep. We'll practically trample down our doorstep. Oh my, that's wonderful. Jihua, someone has reported you for tax evasion. Please come with us immediately. Oh, officer, there must be some mistake. My husband is a law-abiding citizen. You must have made a mistake, officer. What excellent wine. After today, all of this will be mine. <laughs> The latest news from our station, the Chu Corporation, is involved in a major tax evasion scandal. The amount is substantial, and the nature of the crime is severe. The Tax Bureau has already issued a notice to recover the taxes. How could this happen? And the person responsible, Chu Jihua, has been arrested. Good thing I still have Chu Xiang, my dear stepsister. Hey. Mr. Gu, Chu Shihua won't have the money for the tax payment. He'll have to spend at least five years behind bars. Are you satisfied with this outcome? Very satisfied. I'll have to treat you to a meal sometime. I did you such a big favor, and all I get is one meal? Don't push your luck. The land for that project in the north of the city will be enforced. Plus, Chu Jihua's properties and company, they're all ending up in your pocket, aren't they? Cousin, you're so cold-hearted and ruthless, and so unreasonable. <coughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. This Mr. Wrong is your cousin. He? Yes, sister-in-law. Yes, sister-in-law. Cousin and I share the same grandfather. I'm your genuine, direct cousin. And you still dared to flirt with me, asking me to be your girlfriend. What? When did this happen? Cousin, I've got things to do. Let's talk another time. You... Tell me what's going on. He probably thought I was a gold digger, so he deliberately flirted with me at the auction, asking me to be his girlfriend. That rascal. How did you respond? Of course, I rejected him. I told him I want a painless childbirth, and without a son of his, I'm not interested. Sis, what are you laughing about? Just, Just a, a joke. joke. I'm going to start cooking now. Please come in. Sorry, sorry for being late. Oh, invited a friend over. Take a seat. This must be your wife's younger brother. Yep. What are you spacing out for? Rui Rui is full. Now that we're full, let's head back to our room for some rest. Mommy, come to bed early, okay? Ling Xuan. Chu Chu Hua has been caught. <laughs> really? Have a drink. Consider it a revenge for you guys. Cheers. Ling Xuan, the way you are now. It really disgusts me. Stop pretending. Sister, I... I don't understand. You've been playing along with Chu Zhihua for so long. Must be tiring, huh? Cut the act. shouting you're really something aren't you i don't care what your motive is i'm grateful for the happiness you've brought me these past few days i have one last question for you where exactly is my brother ling shuan he's been dead for over a decade back at the chu's you silly sister do you think chu jihua would bother keeping such a useless person around are you leaving on your own or should i escort you out I've suffered so much in the Chu family over the years. It was all because of Schwanner that I kept going. I never imagined. I've already lost my family a long time ago. Rui Rui and I are your family. Mommy, you're not allowed to cry. Rui Rui, sweetheart, how did you get down here? Mommy, is it because Daddy is taking advantage of you again? That's why you're crying? Go Rui Rui, go back to sleep now. You've never even had a wedding with Mommy. Rui Rui is more articulate than you? Yes. As the wife of Gu Shouting, how could you not have a grand wedding? What for? Don't reject me.
wait for you. The latest news from our station, Gu Group announces wonderful news. CEO Gu Shouting will be getting married this Sunday at Emperor Hotel in a grand ceremony. I can't believe I'm really going to marry Mr. Gu. Daddy, you're so nervous. You're still young. When you grow up, you'll experience this day too. Mommy's here. Though I lost my brother, I'm thankful fate brought you into my life. From now on, you are the only wife of Goose Shouting. Hold on, I disagree. Did I ever agree to you marrying her? Grandpa, isn't it rare for you to disagree with something? It's not that no one told you. You found out anyway, didn't you? Is that how you speak to your elders? Goo shouting, I thought your time away would have matured you over the years. Forget it. Call off the wedding. Come back to the Goo family with me. What's going on, Riri? Daddy told me it's just the two of us against the world without any other relatives. Is this how you teach your son? Do you think I'm dead? No one taught this woman manners, didn't I say not to interrupt me? Goo shouting, a woman like this is not wanted by the Goo family. Grandpa, I cannot obey that. Be clear, she is the one who gave birth to our Goo family's eldest grandson. She is the most qualified to be your wife. Riray, I am the real mommy. You're not. I don't like how you smell. Shouting about this wedding. Go on. Shouting, I know you're still mad at me for leaving without a word. But I was only 20 back then. It was hard to accept that I had a child. What? No wonder he never mentioned Rui Rui's mom. Not a word. I don't know you. And you don't even know why you're here today. But my wife is only Chu Xiang. Miss Chu, thank you for taking care of Rui Rui all this time. But I am his real mother. To Rui Rui, I want to spend the rest of my life making it up to him. You're not a mother, so you wouldn't understand. But you can understand, right? Shouting about the wedding today. Let's just call it off. I think there are some things we need to address first. Stinky Daddy, why aren't you chasing after her? Use Rui Rui's mother. This identity don't disappoint me. This woman Chu Xiang can't stay. I understand, Grandfather. I'm going to change my clothes. You look beautiful today. Today? It's my first time wearing a wedding dress. I didn't expect so many surprises. I'm sorry? That woman was right. After all, Rui Rui is her biological child. Goo shouting, let me go. Someone could come in any minute. I don't like it when you talk like that. But this is the reality we have to face. I never thought she would show up. That's why I never wanted to mention her in the past. Chu Xiang, my patience has its limits. I don't want to hear it again. The phrase Rui Rui's mother ever again. I asked you about this before, but you were so fierce then. What if I said, this is also my first time meeting Rui Rui's mother. Would you believe me? What? You're already 29 and not a single woman by your side. What kind of nonsense is that? Hurry up and choose one. Like you walking into the flowers in your old age. That makes sense. How can you speak to your grandfather like that? Do you want the foundation of the Gu family, built over decades, to be destroyed in your hands? I will never allow it. My affairs. You don't need to worry about. All right. Just you wait.
Sounds unbelievable, doesn't it? But that's how Rui Rui came into being. All these years, it was just one night with that woman. After that, it's only been you. Give me a little time. I will handle this matter. Leaving the old mansion empty to cram into such a small house, I really don't get what you're thinking. It is indeed very small, so you can leave. You rascal. I left with nothing back then, no matter how small. This house I earned on my own. If Grandpa has any complaints, why bother making yourself miserable? Are you blaming me? Are you blaming the Gu family for the constraints on you? You have the Gu family's blood in your veins. That child is the great-grandchild of the Gu family. Everything of the Gu family is yours. I don't need it. All right, all right. You don't need it. Have you asked that child? I know you resent me, but I can tell you really like this child. You searched everywhere for this child's mother back then. Now that Suile has returned, our family of four can reunite. My family only consists of Rui Rui and Chu Xiang. This woman's background is not worthy of entering the Gu family. Grandpa, this is my home. Shouting, Grandpa is only doing this for your sake. Miss Shai, this doesn't concern you? You? Grandpa, Grandpa, call an ambulance quickly. Grandpa. What's wrong with him? Mr. Gu, senior, Mr. Gu. He didn't want me to tell you, but he's actually suffering from heart failure. Are you saying? He might not live more than six months. You're not my mommy. My mommy wouldn't wear such strong perfume. Rui Rui has a nasal allergy and can't smell perfume. That's why I never wear it. I didn't know, Rui Rui. I'm sorry. Mommy shouldn't have left you right after you were born. Sigh, do you... What perfume were you wearing? I forgot. Didn't Grampia tell you that this nasal allergy is hereditary from me? That night, you didn't wear any perfume at all. Come on, where have you been these past four years? I... I had postpartum depression, went abroad for treatment. Grandpa? Everyone, leave the room. I need to have a word with shouting. About my illness. You're already aware. With your health like this, you still want to control my life. If that's what you're thinking, just relax. You might live to be a hundred. My own health, I'm well aware of it. After all, Shweru is Rui Rui's biological mother. Other women can't replace her. Chu Xiang is very good to Rui. Rui. But can she really care as much? Can she guarantee she won't want her own kids in the future? That's for us to deal with. You will respect that. Can she treat Rui Rui as if he were her own? You? Hold on. This chair has been sat in by so many people, it's covered in germs. Sitting directly on it isn't good for Rui Rui. Are you... Okay? Miss Sha, Grandpa's looking for you. We'll leave you to it, as one family. The prey I've set my sights on will eventually be mine. Shading Gu, just you watch. That woman Chu Xiang, she's really something. I arranged many women for him over the years. Shouting only had eyes for Chu Xiang. And now, he insists on marrying no one but her. It seems you really don't like Chu Xiang. A family that seeks glory by marrying off their daughters. What kind of decent woman can come from that? And now, the Chu family has landed themselves in such a mess. Zhu Ru, the only granddaughter-in-law I approve of, is you. I understand, Grandpa. While Shouting is still in the dark, now's the time to make Rui Rui take a liking to you. Hmm? Chu Corporation has been confirmed bankrupt. Its legal representative, Chu Zhuwa, due to tax evasion, has been sentenced to seven years in prison. He was wise all his life, and yet he finally fell. Chu Shang, your dad wants to see you. Hurry over. What on earth does he want to say? Might as well hear him out. Meet force with force. Deal with problems as they come. Gu shouting. You two scoundrels. 2464, I'm warning you to sit down. Heaven has eyes. Your retribution has finally arrived. Ungrateful girl. 
The moment you were born, I should have strangled you. Gu shouting, you and Rong Jin conspired against me. You won't die a good death. Business is like a battlefield? You win some, you lose some. Oh, goo shouting, goo shouting, let me tell you, you've lost miserably. Marrying Chu Xiang. She's just secondhand goods. Get lost. We're all men here, stop pretending, let me tell you. Chu Xiang wasn't clean, even before she married you. Her first time was long sold by me. Chu Xiang, when she was 18, was already slept with by that terrible old man. You think you found treasure? But what you actually picked up is a giant green hat. Say that again. Trash? You had no idea, did you? That dirty old man gave me 20 million for her first time, then he added 30 million more to have her stay and be a surrogate for him. You're talking nonsense, I didn't. Yes, you did. That scar on your stomach, it's from a C-section. That old man took the kid and didn't want you anymore afterwards. You got depression, wanted to die, but it didn't happen. Instead, you ended up with amnesia. Chu Xiang. Don't listen to him, Chu Xiang. He's trying to scare you, Chu Xiang. Gu shouting, am I talking nonsense? You know best, haven't you two been together for so long, haven't slept together? Haven't you seen that big scar on her stomach? Don't you? Lucky, can't believe it. Good. To think you ended up with the old man's played out trash. Mommy, wake up, wake up. Rui Rui, go out and play with Uncle Jung Da for a while. Daddy needs to talk to Mommy alone. You're keeping secrets from me again. Be good. Shangchu? I always thought I just lost my memory in a car accident. I never imagined the truth would be like this. I'm really sorry. Shouting. I don't deserve you. Shangchu? Thinking like that is exactly what Chu Zihua wants? Don't touch me. Right now, I even despise myself. Shangchu? I don't care about your past at all. All I want is for us. To always be a family. Nothing can tear us apart. Not your past. Not even my grandfather. But what about that child? Where is he? This is my house. Why are you guys here again? What? Can't I enter this house anymore? You rushed out of the hospital? Just to come here and throw a fit? You... You're being ridiculous? It's fine if you don't welcome me, but Zhui Ru, she's going to live here because she is Rui Rui's mother. You have no right to kick her out. I don't want that, Auntie. Rui Rui, I'm your great-grandfather. You're a terrible old man. Shouting. Is this how you teach your son? My son isn't wrong, though. That's also what I wanted to say. Grandpa, the doctor warned you not to get upset. Shouting. Grandpa's health isn't good. Miss Shai? You're the last person who should be speaking up here. If you really wish I was dead, you can keep upsetting me. As long as I am your grandpa, Jiro has to stay. She's not welcome here. I don't want that auntie living in our house. It's not up to you. Be good, Rui Rui. I can tell you a story. What kind do you like? If you don't leave, I'm calling the police. Do you want outsiders to laugh at the Gu family? The joke has never been on me. Miss Shai. For now, I'll assume you and Rui Rui are biologically related, but you don't deserve to be called a mother. When you were in the hospital, you knew Rui Rui had a severe sinus allergy, and yet you wore such strong perfume. Do you actually care about him, or is this all for show? I... Shushu Ru, in this house, I'm afraid you won't be able to stay tonight. You, taken what's not yours, snatched someone else's husband and child. Do you really feel at peace living here? Don't concern yourself with us. Please. Shouting? Grandfather said something, that's true. Shushiro is his mother. That's not true! Mommy can't leave Rui Rui! 
Chu Shang. I've been doubting Shi Shu Rao's identity all along. Do you remember when we were in the hospital? She kept dodging my questions. Do you remember that night? What perfume were you wearing? I, I forgot. So I suspect she might not be Rui Rui's biological mother. But you smell more like her. How I wish it was you. How come you can't even handle these details? I, I thought by doing this, Xiao Ting would notice me. You still don't understand him. If he were interested in beauty, it wouldn't involve you. What should I do then? Since we're not allowed to enter the household, let's start with Rui Rui. Kids are easy to coax. Grandpa, I'll try my best. You don't have much time left. That's yours. You're scared. I can't handle it. Just the thought of Chu Jihua selling me to that old man. I just can't stand it. Even though I don't remember the details, those scars, I can't truly forget them in my heart. Your heart should only have room for me. Xiao Ting. Actually, amnesia might not be such a bad choice. Forget all those damned associations. Honey, trust me. I will always be by your side. Rui, Rui, wait here obediently for mommy to pick you up. I want to go out and play with mommy. There are lots of cute little girls in the kindergarten. I don't want them. I want mommy. All right, be good. Wait here for mommy to come pick you up. Be nice. I'm Rui Rui's mommy. Daddy wants me to take Rui Rui to the amusement park. I'd like to ask for a leave. Rui Rui's mommy. However, I just need to check that family matters can be pretty complicated. Or I could have Shading call the principal for you. Shading? You mean that billionaire Mr. Gu? Oh, that won't be necessary. Mr. Gu is so busy. Why bother him with something so trivial? Come, let me take you to see Rui Rui. I wonder when mommy will come. Rui Rui, is this your mommy? She's the bad woman who kidnaps kids. Rui Rui, I'm your mommy. You know, I've met you so many times with Grandpa Tai. Bad woman, bad woman. You're the reason Daddy and Mommy are upset. Little children shouldn't lie, otherwise their noses will grow. Miss Shi, I can't let you take Rui Rui. What if I insist on taking him today? Then I would call the police. The Gu family is not something a teacher like you can afford to mess with. Our kindergarten is still trying to trick me. Hmm, as if I haven't seen Snow White or the Evil Queen. Did you get Ryan? Ryan won't go with me. His blood relation that strong? He immediately clung to Shirley. If all else fails, use pity. Remember, go to the Gale Group today. Okay. Don't push me. Don't move. Want to do something here? Mr. Gale, Ms. Scott is here to see you. Come in. Mr. Gale, Mrs. Scott claims she's your secretary. What's going on? Grandpa traded a piece of land for Rory to be my secretary. Such a big offer, Sultan. I'm here to take you to work. From now on, she reports to you. Sultan, what do you mean? I agreed that you join the company, but I didn't say you'd be the only secretary. From now on, everything will be managed by Chu Xiang, and you report everything to her. Okay? If there's nothing else, you can leave. She actually isn't Rui Rui's mom. DNA doesn't lie. I suspect she's made some deal with Grandpa. The infighting in the family is intense right now. Anyone with a claim to the inheritance has been taken out by her. Then what will she do? Just watch. I guess she won't last much longer. Follow the plan. Make your move. Rui Rui.
You little brat, you bit me. What are you doing? Quickly, grab that woman too. What? Chu Xiang and Rui Rui have been kidnapped? The surveillance at the door caught them. They were taken into a van? You... Go check. Yes? If they are missing even a single hair, I'll make sure you're chopped into a thousand pieces. Let me go! My dad will never let you get away with this. He won't let you off the hook! Keep it down, or I'll gag you. Let me go. I need to pee. Watch it, kiddo. Don't try anything funny. Throwing away my watch won't help. My bow tie has a tracker, too. Miss Shy, relax, we're professionals. The child you want is inside. Miss Shy, the child you want is right there. Xu Shang, why did you take her, too? We grabbed the kid, and this woman found us. Well done. I'll add three million to your payment. I'll take the child. And you can have the woman as a bonus. Mommy, mommy. You better behave and have a child for the Goo family. If you dare to misbehave, I'll kill your blind brother. Selling her off so young. Chu Jihua really could bear to part with her. Grandpa, please, I beg you, I don't want this. Quiet. Your dad took 50 million from me. Whether you like it or not, is irrelevant. Who are you? I was drugged. Don't worry, I'll take responsibility. Look how adorable this baby is. In the future, you will be the young master of the Gu family. This has nothing to do with you. No, give me back my child. Are you my mommy? Riri, Ri. so the person who bought me five years ago was Gu Shaoding's grandfather. Turns out Rui Rui is the child of me and Gu Shaoding. Mommy, is that you? Mommy, is that mean lady, the one who kidnapped us? Rui Rui, I'm your mommy. Why would I kidnap you? I'm here to ransom you, to bring you back home. You're lying. I heard everything. You ungrateful little brat. Wretch, how dare you hit me? Bad people can't bully my mommy. Oh, really? Since you disown me, you little mongrel, then you can die with her. Here's five million. Turn these two into mincemeat for the dogs. After this, we go our separate ways. And you never contact me again. Don't worry, Miss Shy. Oh, and make sure you take lots of photos and videos while you're at it. Post them online. I want this woman to be utterly disgraced. The young master's location is right here. I'm coming to save you right away. Boss, that girl is really beautiful. It'd be a shame to kill her. Kill? What for? A beauty like this. Of course, we should have our fun before killing her. Miss Xie said. She's ours to play with as we please. Don't, don't come any closer, please, no. Let her go. Go save the others first. Shouting, be careful. Shouting. Daddy, daddy. Go shouting. Go shouting. I'm begging you, please wake up. Don't let anything happen to you. Shouting. You disaster. Shouting being hurt like this, it's all your fault. You're wrong. The condition shooting is in now is all thanks to you. 
How dare you? How dare you speak to me like that? Because I'm Rui Rui's biological mother. Thanks to the kidnapping, I got my memory back. Five years ago, it was you who bought me from Tujihua to have me bear children for shooting, right? I think you should remember me. Otherwise, you wouldn't dislike me so much. No matter what I do, you despise me. Shut. You're inherently a low woman. You don't deserve to enter the Gu family. How noble do you think you are anyway? Forcing your own grandson into a divorce and breaking his family apart. Is this what your Gu family tradition dictates? I respect you as an elder, and understand that you don't have many days left, but that's no reason for me to suffer in silence. Xiaoting is inside now, hanging between life and death. However, I will absolutely not leave him and Rui Rui again. Mommy? Are you really my mommy? Mommy, please don't leave me again! Okay. Mommy will never leave Rui Rui again. How is he doing? The surgery was very successful. The patient is out of danger now. But he hasn't woken up yet. Would you like to go in and see him now? Shouting. I have some great news for you. Actually, Rui Rui is our child. Yes. That night, five years ago, the person in the bed was me. Don't worry. I will take responsibility. Initially, Chu Zhuhua sent me to the Gu family for 50 million. And then, I gave birth to Rui Rui. It was just that at the hospital. Your grandfather took him away. I chased after them. For a long, long time. Until I got to the street and was hit by a car. When I woke up, I had lost my memory. Shouting. But I'm still thankful to fate. Because fate led me back to you and Rui Rua. Shouting. When you wake up, I never want to leave you again. Shouting, you can't leave us behind. You promised me a wedding? And you also promised to build a playground for Rui Rui. You haven't made it happen yet. Please, wake up. Daddy, you're finally awake! The promises I made to you, I haven't kept them yet. The playground I said I'd build for you isn't built yet. And the wedding I promised your mom I haven't proposed yet? Ha <laughs> ha! You little rascal! After you get better, take Rui Rui and her back to the Gu family home! You look... really beautiful today. This is the second time I'm wearing a wedding dress. There won't be any more surprises today, right? 